Hi, um, my name is Kirsten Benjamin, and um, when I was in college, I did a play about the Women's Air Force Service Pilots of World War II, or the WASPs. Um, I actually had the privilege of meeting some of them and talking with them, and basically these women went completely against the grain and did a, a typical man's job that was actually very, very dangerous, and they were tasked with flying these old rickety planes and ferrying them from coast to coast so that the soldiers could take them into combat. And in some cases, they even had to um, fly tow target missions where they would tie a 30-foot piece of muslin to the end of their tail, and the young trainees would have to use it as target practice, and sometimes they would actually end up hitting the plane. And then in some very, very extreme cases, um, women would start mysteriously dying, and planes would go down, and it'd be very hush-hush as to why it went down. And... Um, the mechanics found out that um, there were things like sugar being put in the tanks, which would stop an engine dead, and um, they ended up censoring um, these Form 1s so that people wouldn't know what was actually happening on our soil. But these women kind of collectively decided to keep their mouths shut, even though they knew they were doing something very dangerous and they could end up dying because they wanted to serve their country and they wanted to serve women in the U.S. by saying, you know, you can do other things other than just being a housewife and mother and librarian, like you can do other jobs. And in 2010, President Obama even presented them with the Congressional Gold Medal. And I know this isn't the typical war hero story, but as a woman today who has choices, I could not be more appreciative.